Now again, quickly, Isaiah 4 verse 6, God says, My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. And then Jesus comes onto the scene and says, Oh, you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. You will have knowledge of the truth, and the truth will set you free. Right? So my people perish for a lack of knowledge. Look what the Amplified says. It says, uh, My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, brackets, of my law, where I reveal my will. Right? For example, again, the phone in your pocket that you thought was new. That phone, okay, there are particular ways that that phone is supposed to work and function. Like, for example, that phone is dependent upon the charger. It needs a charger, even if it's 20,000 bucks, the phone. Right? That battery don't care how much the phone costs. That battery needs a charger. <laughs> right? And it's not solar powered, so you can't put that phone over there, you're going to crack the screen right there in the sun. Okay? It needs a particular charger in order for it to function, just like us. We were never created to function outside of God's presence. We were, so we were designed to have a relationship, not even religion, relationship with our Father. We were not designed for religion. That's why religion makes you feel, makes you feel heavy and burdened. But Christ sets us free. Okay? That phone over there, it, it works in a particular way. You can't take that phone. If, I know some phones can actually swim. But, I mean, you can't take the phone and go put it there in the toilet, flush the toilet and think the phone's going to work. It's not water resistant. Okay? So, for example, in God's Word, the thing that He discusses with us at times, those verses like that we don't like in the Bible, you know those verses, those ones over there, those aren't there because God is like a party pooper. No. He, doesn't, he never does something to restrict us, but rather to protect us. Does that make sense? Okay. So, my people perish or destroyed for a lack of knowledge. That means the opposite is true. When you know the truth, you flourish. If you know what he's saying, the situation is not going to overwhelm you. The adversity, it might initially overwhelm you, but eventually you're going to be like, okay, God, I'm, I'm, I'm going with what you say. I'm going with what you say. And I'm going to trust in you. And I'm going to place my hope in you. Not in these situations that change, but my hope is placed in you moving forward. And I trust and I know that you will open up the doors that no man can shut and you'll also close doors that no man can open. There's a very powerful scripture in, I think it's Psalm 127. That verse always fascinated me. It says, unless the Lord builds the house, the laborers labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, those watches watch in vain. That should get you excited because that means the opposite is also true. When you know that God is busy building your house, <laughs> you know that nothing is trying to come against it will break it. Because He's the one that's building it for you. And listen, when I say house, I'm not referring to like just the physical structure that you live in. I'm talking about your life. When He's building with you, right, you've got every single thing that you need. I mean, the scripture says that he is seated, Jesus now seated high above all rule, authority, dominion, power, and government. My man, is, listen, there, there's, no, there's no political policy that can stop the move of God. None. I mean, they can say today, like, yeah, listen, uh, it is now illegal for you to preach and whatnot. You're not going to stop God. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Because his will will continue. His purpose, no one can thwart his purpose. No one can change it. What he said is going to happen. Best believe that to be true. I'm going to leave this next verse. Oh, Jesus. But this one we went through uh, last week, briefly. 